Throughout Women's History Month, our administration will honor the vital contributions of women to our nation and show women's history is American history. For me, it starts with Jill, the first first lady to work full time while she's in office, and Kamala, our vice president, shattered a barrier that stood for more than two centuries and a record number of women serving in my cabinet, senior level positions in our administration. But it's also all those women we think about each day who are leading us through this pandemic. Vaccine researchers, public health officials, essential workers, so many of whom are women and women of color in hospitals, nursing homes, on farms and grocery stores and schools and shelters. They've risked their own lives and their own health to keep our country going. But we must also reflect on the unique burdens women are continue to bear today. The healthcare system is historically underserved women. Gender and racial disparities in pay continue to fester. A disproportionate share of caregiving continues to fall on the shoulders of women and girls. Millions of women have left the workforce this past year, setting women's labor participation in the workforce at its lowest level in 30 years preventing them and the country from reaching our full potential. Hunger, homelessness, violence against women is on the rise. These trends are even more dire among women of color. This is unprecedented in America. This is unacceptable to me. For our administration, honoring women means investing in them each and every day. With America's rescue plan to continue and fight this pandemic, deliver immediate economic relief to millions of women and their families, with the plan to build back better with an economy that's stronger, more inclusive, creating good jobs for women. And it's established in the White House Gender Policy Council, I'm establishing, to prioritize gender equality across every aspect of the government, which include our efforts to end the scourge of violence against women. That's why I wrote the Violence Against Women Act, but we've got to end it in all forms. This administration will honor the visionary women, known and unknown, who have helped build this country and will be guided by the belief our nation is at its best when there are endless possibilities for all women and girls. I've told my girls and my my daughters and my granddaughters not a single thing, not a single thing that a man can do that a woman can't do equally as well. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And I'll not be satisfied until that's recognized. So happy Women's History Month. Let's continue to work together.